Good morning. It's already 1024 and we've already gotten back to Ikea and picked up the desktop. And then now we're heading home. This morning we did have rise up the little acai bowls that we always have. I'm wearing my hat today. And I didn't show you my outfit, but I'm just wearing this Banana Republic t-shirt with my Vince white dress and my Fendi slide. There was a line already, but there wasn't a lot of people here at Ikea, which love that also i was going to tell you guys do you see that five percent off that five percent off you want to sign up for that because whatever you buy it'll give you five percent off as a loyalty member so five percent is not a lot but it's better than nothing so i would sign up for it it's the ikea family members and you don't have to do anything except sign up and then you show them your membership qr code or or bar qr bar and they just you show it to them at the register they scan it and once they start scanning every item that you purchase it takes five percent off each item so yeah that's a good thing to have because you can get some money off like i said it's not a lot a lot but it's better than nothing Okay, we've started clearing out the office. We already took the glass desk that was here out. We've taken all the monitors out. It's amazing how big a room is when nothing's in it. So we're gonna take out this table and this table. My husband already built the Alex drawers. The desk is probably gonna come all the way over here, so I might have to move a couple of these out of the way. So, yeah, it's already starting to look empty, but I'll update you piece by piece once we get to that point of setting stuff up. And for now, this side of the room is going to stay the same, and I have this hallway full of all of my stuff in here, and then we have my desk out here now monitors everywhere so yeah it always becomes a mess before it comes together okay so here's the first desk going in we're gonna have to move it over because i want it flush to the wall here these adjust so <laughs> it will be right now it's not even it's like slanted down the neat thing about these alex drawers is that if you don't want to use it to support your desk you can install it where all of these drawers go the other way and then that'll be your top. But the reason we want this to be our top is because it allows for the table to be screwed in there. And they're pre-drilled hose, which is great. Let's see if it has it on this side. Yeah, see, right there. So those you'll be able to use to screw into this one. But we'll get that desk level. Okay, and to adjust these, you untighten it by turning to the left, pull down how much you need, and then turning it to the right to tighten it. So you're just gonna keep pulling it. Pull it for your length, turn it to lock and unlock it basically is what that is so now it's straight okay here is the carpet that we found there at the end and it's just a little star i bet it goes like in a baby's room or something <laughs> but i liked it for in here because i have stars up there and then on our feature wall we have glittered, and this is also glittered. I don't know if it can come off on the video, but this also has glitter on it. So I thought it would look so cute. I do like it a lot. I think it goes here. And then I did end up putting this carpet in here only because I felt like it goes with the aesthetic in here. We have more blue in here than anything. And then 
the little gray carpets that I bought, I put in here because the ones I had in here, I felt like they were too long. And they always would slip and slide. These have like the bathroom matting so that they don't move as much. And so I like that better. Okay, and the, the jars. And what I wanted to do was to put the dishwashing pads in there. So we kept this. I mean, this is okay too. But I just wanted to be a little fancy, I guess. So I can just put those in there. And then we have another bag, but I don't think it'll fit in there. We like using this seventh generation clean with purpose dishwashing detergent packs. And we get these from Amazon and we really do like them a lot because they clean our dishes well. I like that they're a safe and efficient plant-based product. And so we've been using these for a while now and I really do like them a lot. They come in the little packet that's clear and you just throw it in your dishwasher. And so aesthetically, it's a nice package, but I like to put them in here. They come in a bag of 45 little packs. I'm not gonna fill it up because I definitely want to put the lid on it and so just put it like that and it keeps them covered so see how it just provides that closed so then I just want to put it down here on the bottom and so it just fits down here I just like the way it looks aesthetically and it's better than this, but I'm going to keep this anyway for the extra ones. So there's that one. And then I also got one for the laundry room. We always keep them in this thing. We buy extra and then we just put it in here. I have, I guess, I can't open the childproof one. <laughs> I have trouble with it. So that's another reason why I wanted this jar just put these in here. Is that a coupon? And so yeah, there's that one. And again, I'm gonna keep this other container just for extras, but I like that this one looks aesthetically nicer and we always keep it on this little tray that we have that goes between our washer and dryer and we have one down here I don't know why keep it it's too big what about this one maybe you might be able to keep that one and the lid fits the same just throw this bigger one away then can keep this one on here and it helps us know how many we have or don't have because i know that i've come in here and it's empty and i didn't even know it was about to be empty so I think just having it in that jar is going to be helpful. And it looks aesthetically better. I'm all for aesthetics, y'all. Looks nice. Okay, so here we are. And we did have to take down my file baskets because the desk came all the way over. And my plan is to put this round table here in the middle. That's my plan. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen, but that's my plan because I feel like it's too 
like now it's very scrunched and you know I might have to put the smaller one in here the brown one because the brown one is smaller but what my husband did down here because we don't want any legs here so we put that leg to support half and half there see and then he's gonna use the brackets for here to support this because you see how that's still kind of jicky there let me see i'll show you the brackets these here will go can i figure this out like that to support that and he's going to put two of these now a lot of people were talking about well my husband actually told me about a guy who bought tops for actually this whole desk he made out of regular filing cabinets and then the tops from Lowe's and we did go look at that I really think this was a cheaper alternative but I think it's just durability, how much you use your desk, how long you want it to last. And I take really good care of my stuff, so I don't see myself like my wardrobe. It's in really good shape and my drawers and everything. I've not had any issues with drawers or anything. I don't plan to overpack them or anything. So we'll see how it all works out. We still don't know where we're going to put the monitors. They either have to go here or here. So probably over there. Okay, we're still trying to situate things. The desk is done. I'm going to move my TV to this side because I want there to be enough walking room here. And I'm going to move my bench over here. I really thought we painted this wall, but I don't think we did. We're going to have to paint it so that it doesn't look dirty. Okay. I'm still working on putting everything where I want it, but this is what we're looking at so far. We had to change a lot in here, but I think it's going to be more functional for me, but I was going to show y'all, I bought this too, and I thought it would fit in these drawers, but it doesn't. It's too... Let's see, do I have an empty drawer here? <laughs> I already filled all these drawers up. See how it doesn't, it doesn't stay on the top, but it doesn't go all the way to the bottom either. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use it in here unless I cut a piece off of it. Look at Mocha. <laughs> My goodness, girlfriend. Okay. So I decided to use it in here for my scarves, which is why I bought it actually. But I just thought if it fit in the drawer for the desk that that would be good. But I put all my little luxury scarves in here, in this one. And I did have these Ikea organizers in that drawer, but I decided to put my scarves in there. And then this drawer has all my sunglasses that I don't use. I'm missing a pair right there. I don't know which ones those would be. I think unless they slid down, maybe they just slid down. I don't know. I have no idea. My bug glasses. <laughs> but I don't think there's anywhere else that maybe I could use that in here oh it might be good to put right here in the middle and I could have more organization in here I might just do that but not today or not right now because I think it would fit in there let me try it well, you know what? It would rest on, uh, let me just see really quick. Cause I do need more room for my belts. 
maybe it would fit there but like i said it might it won't go all the way down so it might have to stay raised let's see yeah see and it won't yeah And maybe I could keep that stuff underneath and just put this on top because it's not going to go all the way down. I would have to move this little. Yeah, see, it fits like that. We just have to figure out what to do with the rest of this stuff. And there's not much clearance under there, see? Not much would fit under there. Let's see if this, if I could get this stuff. Yeah, that might fit under there. I'm just afraid that I would forget about whatever was under there. I don't know, I might be able to organize this drawer where I can put that all the way down. But again, as I mentioned, I'm not going to do that in this video. I need to finish my office. So now I just made another mess. <laughs> okay, and I wanted to show you all this mouse pad. It was huge. We bought it from Ikea and my husband was able to use it on his. And I'll show it to you in my office as well. But it was a big mouse pad and it helps your stuff not slide around as much. So yeah, that was kind of neat buy. And so the piece that he cut off, I was able to put here on mine. I didn't get, really get any of the city except for our blocks or whatever, except for that little design there. But yeah, it fit perfectly with mine. It's right here. It's hard to tell because it's black, but it also helps my stuff not slide around. And then we bought this stop felt. We bought this before and you just put it underneath a carpet so it won't slip. We actually have it in under our carpet in the foyer let me show you so there it is and it just helps it not to move and we also have it under our kitchen one two way over there because we ran out of it but even that small piece helps this carpet not to move okay so here is my finished office finally <laughs> we finally got it all done we moved some furniture around and got it all finally together and so just to kind of give you how i'm utilizing this office i definitely wanted to clear this off and I moved this to this side of the room because this little unit was more narrow than this bench. This little glass shelf I got from Amazon. And I really do like it. It goes with the aesthetic in here. Wood and glass. And I really do like that it holds this tv perfectly and also i can put my office stuff down here so i really do like this table it's very classy unique it's tempered glass and the wood is not real wood it's covered in wood so it's not solid wood as you can see down here it's not a solid wood but I like the look of it. It definitely gives it a beautiful touch. And so I've had this for three years and it's lasted me a long, long time. I've not chipped it or anything like that. And it's very easy to clean, very durable. And so I really like that. It just made sense to move it to this side especially since I will predominantly be sitting on this side of the room to look this way and especially when I'm sitting here.
this side of the room kind of stayed the same. I had this space in between here, so I just put my work bag there. And I do have some room for some booklets there. Those are empty. I had them full. But honestly, y'all, I had a lot of outdated information in those that I really didn't need. So I just took them out. Work bag. And the drawing that my grandson did when he was younger. I kept all my decor pretty much the same. And I like the decor that I have up. So I didn't really want to change anything. I was glad that we were able to make it work, especially on this side where I was able to leave my shelf and my sign here. I believe I got that from at home. And so back here behind this monitor, I just wanted to put information that I, that I needed, but not readily. I can get to this information online and so I just wanted to keep the paper copy of it here in case I just couldn't get to it online. I put all of my pen and pencils there and my charging station here. And then I was happy that I was able to utilize this side of the desk because this side of the desk, I'm able to put my iPad that I use for meetings. I also like this little phone holder from Amazon and you just attach it to the back of your computer and you're able to place your phone on there. Now this one has a magnetic back. It just holds your phone like that and you can stick it onto any device. I just have it here on this iPad and I'll link it down below because you can also get it from Amazon. You can fold it up when you're not using it. I can use it during meetings and have my phone available there during meetings. I have my pixel book here with all of my YouTube stuff. I like to keep things separate. So I like that I'm able to when I'm working on YouTube, I can be here, YouTube and Amazon here, consultant stuff over here. And so I really like that ability. I like that I have all of the little charging stations here. And I bought this from Sam's Warehouse. I don't know if they still have that available, but I purchased it some time ago. I like this little tray where I have my calculator and my label maker. I also do all of my consultant business stuff. I was able to put stuff in the drawer. So I keep all of my tax receipts and stuff like that in here. So I like that I could put it away. I didn't have to have it out. And so here are my computer screens. I decided to put them on this side of the room only because if I want to do Zoom on my computer, usually I didn't because the light was bad. So now I'm closer to the window and I really like all of the space under here that it gave me. So I was able to store items under here that were out of sight more than visible. And so I can just put that in front of there and now it just looks nice and clean. I do like to keep this one close to me because I do need that one for work. But yeah, I do like that I'm, I was able to put all of my items that I had away in the drawers and still kept everything that I needed out. And then I was able to put my filing cabinet here. As you will, maybe you'll remember, I had my table here and all of this was behind here. And now we moved it here. And so, yeah, I'm really happy with the way the office turned out. I like that it all matches now. It's more black and white and my grays. And I just really do like the way it turned out. So, I am tired. We worked on this all day and 
I'm just thankful for the way it all turned out. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.